for a while now, we've been hearing that Marvel Silver Surfer will be showing up in the upcoming Marvel Studios Fantastic Four reboot, and that the character would specifically be female. Now we're hearing that there's already plans in motion to quickly develop a Silver Surfer project for release after the Fantastic Four hits. <laughs> So when it comes to cool, unique characters, specifically ones that Marvel loves to check off some of their, you know, mandatory boxes off on, tragic history, check. Tragic backstory and powers, check. Somewhat unknown and botched previously, but we can fix what the old studio made a mistake on, check. Enter the Silver Surfer, Norrin Rad, or whoever they might go with. Whatever the case is, we keep hearing that there's definitely going to be a female Silver Surfer on film at some point. And according to reports that have recently sprung up all over the net, the whole idea for the Surfer is to be a franchise by itself, aka potentially get out multiple projects and feature the character in multiple other projects. So by all accounts, it sounds like that when Fantastic Four drops, somewhere within a quick time frame that we don't know what that is i'm gonna say within two years they want a silver surfer project to follow to sort of expand upon that character's origin but also galactus and various other things to start setting up the future and i do think that that's a smart idea i think surfer can sustain a franchise i think the surfer is a great character personally but i understand why a lot of people don't necessarily trust that the character can work as a standalone thing because of the immense amount of power and stories that they constantly have to write the character out of so i think you're probably looking at something that's going to take a little bit longer to get out because of all those shortcomings in terms of how talented you have to be to be able to almost make those sort of on the fly decisions with what needs to be changed to cater to the mcu and we've seen them make tons of changes for other characters that are very interesting and a lot of them work so i think the surfer taking a slightly underpowered approach compared to the comic book's counterpart but also giving us a new take on the character whether it's female or not whatever it is i think will be interesting as long as they don't do what the other film did i think they they pretty much got a winning combo just don't make the surfer's power come from an actual surfboard.